Europe is facing challenging times. More and more we see painfully how vulnerable our energy and communication networks are. The question is how can we make them more resilient? And at the European Future Technology Summit we try to find answers how to make our networks more resilient and so welcome to European Future Technology Summit 2024. I'm a newly elected member of the European Parliament and faced with tackling the challenges that we face in Europe for the next five years. Those challenges range from peace, security to welfare. And part of this welfare challenge is, of course, to tackle technology and innovation leadership in Europe. And part of this, again, is to secure a unified, stable and sustainable energy system in Europe. Today, Ukrainian energy system is experiencing the biggest attack in the history. The whole world is watching the consequences of this attack and is asking itself a logical questions. How our expert managed to cope with it? I, in my opinion, I think it's thanks of coordinate work of all uh, specialists in, on, or at all levels and uh, planning uh, schemes for our customers and right information policy. Winter is coming and many challenges ahead, but as I like to say, light always wins over darkness. Today we use digital technology every day all time uh, and we have uh, many uh, threats in the cyberspace. For avoid these threats uh, we must constantly check ways among uh, digital information, uh, search a pattern. For these uh, tasks uh, the AI uh, is a very good solution. Uh, we use uh, neural networks and machine learning in uh, our intrusion detection system and our management system. For a reliable grid in Europe, we are facing three major problems. The first major problem is the integration of renewable energy, the integration of heat pumps and charging stations into our grid. Therefore, we have to modernize and digitalize our grids. The second problem is the dependency from fossil fuels from foreign countries. And the third problem is the supply chain in the energy market. We need to build our own energy equipment in Europe to build a safe and modern grid. When we use AI in the electrical grid, we need to impose exactly the same stringent requirements on safety, on reliability, on quality, like we do for any other component in the grid. So it's not enough to say, oh, let's move fast and break things and we figure it out as we go along. It has to be really good and that's the big challenge. Then we should wait. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> to run a European-wide safe and stable power network, we must agree on common standards for all network operators to fight against cyber attacks and terrorism and warfare, not only today, but as well in the future. At the European Commission, we were very much committed to ensuring uh, the, the cyber security and resilience of digital infrastructure in general, and especially of uh, submarine cable infrastructure. For that, we're working together with member states, uh, uh, following the recommendation on, on, on the security and resilience of submarine cable infrastructure. And one part of this, uh, which is also important, is reaching out to third countries as well and have a common uh, approach uh, to, to those infrastructures. Yes, it was really a wonderful summit. We learned a lot uh, from the different speakers. We are investing in a lot of PV panels and in wind generators, but we have also to invest in resilience of our systems. And resilience, I learned this evening, means at the end that we need more decentralized power plants, that we have to synchronize, that we have to connect all these power plants, 
by telecommunication and information systems at the end to control them on one side and protect them on the other side. So what I'm taking home from this summit, it's actually all the insights we gain from the workshops and uh, all the valuable, valuable uh, input we have from all the other participants from other countries. The topics uh, in the presentations were uh, very um, high level, let's say, or something very technical and it was really interesting. Yeah, just getting to know each other and, you know, seeing on, on how things are on the other side of Europe. That's just amazing, yeah. Uh, we can um, discuss with other persons from uh, different uh, associations and uh, with the representative from uh, EURELF. And uh, I, uh, I'm very happy to be here. Likely the contacts, the networking is awesome here because we can meet the people from all around Europe. Likely from Sweden, from Hungary, from Germany, Austria and other countries, I guess also Switzerland likely. We also can get the relations with uh, well-known scientists and not only, like the politicians. So I like the, the get-together of a lot of industrial experts and from organizations like the VD or the DK and all the different insights of the different aspects of the industry and on the challenges we have to face as the European Union and uh, different aspects we have to cover in the next 20-30 years. It's a very good experience. Cheers! <laughs> Institutions like the WIDI help us to understand the role that technology plays. They promote young people and scientists towards their role in energy transition and climate change. These are the challenges for the next five years that we are happy to tackle in the European Parliament. Thank you.